Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today, you may be thinking to yourselves, wait a minute, haven't we seen that Jeep before? And you have, but you also haven't, and allow me to explain why. Now, the previous video that you saw with this Jeep model was Yeah Buddy's Jeep. This is a completely different version, and this is a version built by Frog. Now, basically, what happened here is it's the same model, essentially. It's the same 3D model, but everything underneath has been worked on differently. The suspensions are different, the tuning is different, and a lot of the add-ons are different. Now, Yabuddy's version was a little bit more focused on, as you saw before, having all of, all of his very specific add-ons and wheels and stuff like that, whereas Frog's version it comes with two different variants, one with a quote-unquote like a beefy suspension and the other one with more of a weekend warrior kind of setup one that's more streetable essentially now the way that you will be able to get your hands on this jeep in the future is this is one of frog's patreon builds and if you want a little bit more info about that i will leave a link of course to his youtube and his discord in the description box down below now the map we are going to be using to check this thing out is desert trails and i've, I've come to desert trails because it provides us with a really good variety of rock crawling as well as trail riding and high speed stuff. I'm not sure if we're going to get all the way out to the high speed stuff because this is definitely a lot more of a crawler focused build. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the garage. We'll go through a lot of the upgrades and add ons, and then I'll also show you guys the weekend warrior version as this is the quote unquote like the more beefy uh, kind of, you know, like full on crawler version basically. So let's go ahead and fire it up, get into the garage, and see what the customization is all about. Now, of course, I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys the functioning windshield and hood on this thing. Now, now, one thing though to note is that when you use the foldable windshield and, and you also have the high lift jack on the hood, it can look a little bit awkward and I would probably remove the high lift jack if, if I was planning on folding the windshield down. And then as far as the hood goes, it looks incredible. But once again, I would probably take the high lift jack um, and, and probably not use it right there if I was going to have the, uh, if I was going to be using these features super often, but being able to look under the hood and actually see the engine like that is incredible, and it's also all color coordinated to the rest of the Jeep. It sounds so good, and I've got to tell you guys, the quality of this model, like the 3D model itself for this Jeep, is just, it's so incredibly off the charts, because you can drive it in stock form like that. If you really, truly want to, you can drive it in stock form like that, and it still is okay with it. Like, it does not hate being driven in stock form. However, if you only drive it in stock form, you're missing a lot of the a lot of the upgradability that this thing has to offer. So, as far as the engine goes, we're going to throw the performance engine in it, and then gearbox-wise, I'm going to put the off-road transmission. Now, as far as suspension-wise, the suspension options are different for the beefy version versus the weekend warrior version. Now, the beefy version comes with a 2-inch lift, a crawler lift, and an overlanding tow setup because this actually has an overland trailer that I'll show you guys a little bit later once we leave the garage after we're done customizing it. Now, we're going to go with the crawler lift on this one, and tires-wise, you start with a 33-inch BFG mud terrain, and then it immediately goes up to a 35-inch sticky, which already looks good on this particular suspension, but you can actually go all the way up to a 43-inch Super Swamper, and really, you can have the you can have any of these tires in any of the sizes between 35 and 43, and they obviously go in increments like, you know, 35, 37, 39, and then 43, I believe. So, I think for this particular particular build. I like the Pitbulls a lot. I also like the Rockzillas a lot. I think we're going to go with, oh man, I also really like the KM3s on this one though. Oh, the KM3s really do kind of like set the build off though. I think I'm going to go with the KM3s. I also like the Stickies. I mean, if you were going really, really crazy, like over the top, you could go with the Stickies, but, and you know, now that I think of it, I kind of want the Stickies. I'm literally going back through, I, uh, you know what? Yeah. The 43-inch stickies are, they're going on there because that they're just like, they're too over the top to not go on this thing. Now, the high lift jack, you can mount on the hood, same as the other one. And you also have a hitch and you have supplies you can throw in it as well. I'm going to go ahead and put the supplies in it. And then fenders wise, for this one, I'm going to put the ultra high clearance fenders, the ones that are like, you know, insanely high up off the Jeep. I think I've seen some fenders like this on a Fab Fours built Jeep before. Now, sliders wise, I'm going to go ahead and throw those on there. Roof rack wise, now you can throw the roof racks on here. You have one with tools, you know, like a rolly jack, a fire extinguisher, a bunch of fuel. You also have a low profile roof rack. We're not going to do either of those, and you'll see why in a moment. 
The grill covers, basically you get an angry eye grill cover. I'm not the biggest fan of those, but if you are, you have the option. Now, logo-wise, you can put the Rubicon logo on the side of the hood. However, I'm not going to do it on this one because it would be covered up mostly by those high fenders. Now, the stock roof, you can, you can use it as an option. You have the soft top roof and you also have the slant roof, but another option that we didn't really talk about is the fact that you can also just take it off. So if you want to have an open top Jeep, that's also completely a doable option for you. Now, uh, my favorite options are either no top or the slanted top, um, but this time I'm going to run no top. Now, rear bumper-wise, you have the standard one. You also have rear bumper one, two, and then a third. I'm going to go with rear bumper one because I like the tow hooks back there. And then windshield-wise, you actually have the stock folding windshield, and you can actually take it off as well. So if you want to just do a windshield delete, that's there for you as an option, although you don't necessarily have to do it. And the custom roll bar is really cool because if you take the... Whoa, I bumped the bumper. All right, hold on. Bumped the bumper on my controller and switched over to the color section. Hold up. Now, let's see. Where is... Oh, my God. Where is the roll bar? I've completely lost my... There we are. I, I, like, I've completely lost my roll bar. But if you, if you take the roof off, you can actually run this roll bar with its own custom roof, plus you get to see the exposed tubing. Now, the hood, you've got a stock opening hood, which we're going to leave that there. It's really, really cool. And then the spare tire carrier, we're definitely going to throw on carrier one, although you do have quite a decent variety of carriers back there. Now, you can throw some fuel cans back there as well, but I've got my supplies in the back, behind the back seats, and I, I feel like that's going to be good enough for the adventure we're going to be doing. You have a standard color grill, like a body-colored grill, as well as a black grill. And light bars, you have this kind of Baja-style bar up top, and you have a standard uh, rectangular light bar. I'm going to go with the Baja style bar and then we're gonna do the sticky spare and then we'll throw the snorkel on there as well and then since this is the over-the-top version anyway and we've already got the crazy cage and the crazy axles and everything like that we're definitely gonna put the race seats in there front and back you've got full race buckets and harnesses and then halos wise we're gonna put the white halos in there and then doors wise I actually really like the look of these stock half doors because it's basically just a modified version of a standard door. But if you want to go a little bit crazier with it, you totally can do that as well. Now, front bumpers wise, I kind of prefer uh, the front bumper one, but you also have front bumper two and a third option that you are free to choose from as well. And then wheels wise, the stickies only really get this one option. It's an American force wheel. However, if you were to select one of the other tires, like for example, the BFG mud trains that we saw before the KM3s, you would be given a full list of Frog's typical wheel lineup. Now, I'm going to go ahead and see what kind of colors we have on offer here. Now, I really like the way the green looks, but I also, I mean, yes, I like the red, but I kind of want to do something a little bit different this time. I love the way the purple looks. I think the purple looks super sick, but I like... I like some of these greens and blues, too. I really think that, like, it's you can't really go wrong with the color options on this thing. I actually kind of dig the light blue. As odd as it sounds, I kind of, I, like, I really dig that. Now, it's time to go ahead and throw beans on the dash. And let's go ahead and get out of the garage and see what this thing looks like out in the light. Now, this obviously is the more built kind of, you know, uh, full-on crawler version. This is something you'd probably trailer to an off-road park. I mean, if you were if you were a maniac, you could drive it there. I mean, if you're if your state allowed you to register it, you could drive it there. But whoa, that would be that'd be fun though. I mean, I think it'd be fun. It'd probably be a little bumpy, but it'd still be fun. Now let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a flex test real quick. Yeah, I don't think flex is an issue. Um, also, I would like to let it be known that it climbed all the way up there without the all-wheel drive being on. So that's a, that's a thing. Let's see how this thing does on our typical crawler course. And then we're going to build the Weekend Warrior version. And that one, we're going to do the build a little bit faster. And I wanted to show you just kind of the differences between the suspension options and a couple of other things in the tire sizes because the Weekend Warrior version has a completely different axle and suspension setup than this one does. So let's make our way down our little crawler circuit. This area right here is probably going to be a walk in the park for it, but let's see. Put it in low, make sure everything's on. All right, diff lock is on all the time. There we go. Oh, I wanted to see if I could walk it down on the front axle. All right, so that's just about straight down. I think I could do that line. I would just have to really lay into the power. Just be really easy. And then, the, like, as soon as it starts to go, yep, there it is. I just, get, I just didn't give it enough beans, which is odd for me. The fact that I didn't give the vehicle enough beans is, uh, that's a little weird. That's a little out of my norm. Now, making my way down the rest of these rocks, it really is just kind of climbing over them, no problem. 
and this thing begs you to take the hardest line that you can over like any of the rocks in your way because if you don't take like the really difficult lines it just kind of loafs its way over everything and so it never you never really have to worry about anything you literally have to seek out challenging lines here we go not bad and watching that suspension cycle up and down is just extremely rewarding. It's so incredibly rewarding. Let's see if I can get you guys just a little bit of a better angle when we come around this off-camber turn. Oh, dude, look at that. I love watching the coilovers just extend out. It looks so good. Look at the truss on that rear axle. Jeez, that's amazing. That's pretty nuts. I absolutely love this little crawler trail, though. And if you guys want a great testing circuit for crawler vehicles or just practicing your skills, this is a great one. I mean, all you have to do is leave the garage right here on desert trails, come down a little bit this way, and then right here where the other trail crosses, you actually make a right and go up this part of the trail and then circle back to the garage. It's a super fun little short uh, circuit, but the cool thing about it is that you can run laps on it with different vehicles over and over again, and the garage is right there. So you really never have to worry about it if you like, you know, you fall off the edge or something like that. Now, the climb back up, we could do on the dirt, but we're going to take the rock route for this one. Because, of course, we're going to take the rock route. I mean, look at what we're driving. Here we go. Not bad. Dude, not bad at all. Now, also, there's a line up here. Well, there's a lot of lines up here that you can take, but there's an interesting amount of line choice because you can take a line that goes right up here on the inside that's super off camber, or you can take the line down on the left, which is a little bit more simple, but it's kind of narrow as well. Now, let's see what we can do if we can actually back up. I've kind of an idea for mixing both of these lines. I want to go up this way. Wow, those stickies are... They live up to their name, that is for sure, because they just walked right up that with absolutely no problem. All right, I'm about half throttle right now, low plus. Let's see if you can, wow. That's incredible. I mean, you really can treat it like a real world crawler and it will just, oh God. All right, there we go. Had to let off, the, uh, let off the throttle a little bit to get the front axle to come back down, but you really can treat it like a real world crawler and it will, it will do just about whatever you ask of it on the rocks. I wonder if there's another line over here that we can try. That's the other cool thing about this Jeep is that you can literally just like try lines and find lines that you may not have been able to find before. Oh crap, if we go that way though, we're gonna get outside the circuit that, we're, that we were originally taking. Oops. All right, let's go ahead and make our way up this route. We'll throw it in high. Dude, high range just like, it does not care going up that hill climb. It's super easy on it. Whoop, nice and easy. And, oh no, yep. I forgot that that spot just dipped down that far. And really, at the end of the day, all it is from here is just a dirt road back to the garage. So I'm going to go ahead and give a quick recover. And I'm going to also show you guys some of the options on the Weekend Warrior version, which is a lot more like something you would see driven on the street to a trail rather than something that you would see uh, trailered to an off-road park. Now, engines-wise, you have the same options. Gearbox-wise, you also have the same options. But suspension-wise is where it starts to get a little bit different. Now, we're going to do the 3.5-inch lift droop. Now, droop basically means it's going to have a lot more down travel and and thus be a lot more flexible on a lot of obstacles. So we're going to do that. And then let's see, as far as maximum tire size goes on this variant, I think, yeah, the biggest you can go is a 37. But I'm actually okay with that because that's a super realistic size for a Jeep like this. Now I'm going to go with the pit bulls on this one and we'll go with, uh, we'll go with minimal, minimal accessories, but I want to use this actually as an example to show you guys the wheel options that the other one didn't have because we put it on the stickies. Now, fenders wise, we're going to go with custom fenders too, because these look like a lot of the fender kits that people put on their real world, the, their real world uh, JKs and JLs. And also it gives us an opportunity to throw the sliders on there, throw the roof rack on there, and also throw the Rubicon logo on the side of the hood. Now, rear bumper wise, we're going to do rear bumper two, actually. And then we're going to do the, let's see, where's my front bumper? Oh boy. All right. Come on. Where's my front bumper? Bruh. I've lost. My, okay. Wait, roof, rear bumper. Oh my God. Where is my front bumper? There it is. It's all the way at the bottom. 
I'm like, I, I, I would have figured they would have put it like right there next to each other, but you know what? Don't worry about it. Now, wheels wise, now this is where you're going to be able to see some of the other wheel options that you didn't get with the stickies. And actually, what's really cool about these options is that you can throw some KMC L1s on there, which look really, really good on a trail focused build. Now, obviously, this is a lot more, uh, a lot more like something that you would see once again, just like driving itself to the trail and then also being a daily driver during the week. And I really love it. Like, I absolutely love the way this looks. This, if you're looking for something that really is going to give you that real world vibe, this is where you're going to get it. Absolutely. Now, it's definitely missing something with not having a tire carrier in the back, I think. But once again, that's a very easy thing to address. Let's give it a quick flex test. I forgot to put all-wheel drive on. And one more quick flex test. There we go. Once again, though, I know this isn't like the crazy over-the-top variant, but that is extremely respectable in the flex department. Now, I definitely want to run this one on the uh, on the rock crawling circuit sometime in the future, but what we're going to do is we're going to bring it out for some other challenges that you guys are going to have to wait and see. So with that being said, hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on this thing in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.